Hey skiers, I'm Jeff from SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2024 ski test. Today we're talking about this Dinastar M Pro 90. Great ski, pretty darn unique in the all mountain category. I think Dinastar does some really cool stuff with both shape and construction to differentiate their skis from other brands. Really cool. We've always kind of called the 90 and the 99 real skiers skis because you are in so much control as a skier of what the ski is going to do and you also have a really strong supportive tail so something that an advanced expert level skier can really use to their advantage that tail that strength in the tail of this ski really cool construction in these skis we get that hybrid pu material so they're using a poplar wood core with polyurethane added along the edges of the core. What that does is when you have the ski up on edge, that polyurethane is actually acting as more vibration damping and it does give the ski a very smooth feel. It also takes some weight off the overall core, which is pretty darn cool. And then we get Titanal rocket frame. So it's a Titanal laminate. It is literally shaped like a rocket. So down here in the tail of the ski, it's wider, kind of comes to a squared off finish or a little, a little rounded finish or con, concave finish. Uh, and then in the tip here or through the forebody of the ski really does look like the top of a rocket and full width underfoot. So pretty interesting use of metal in this ski and it corresponds nicely to the shaping concept here. So in the tip, we get a lot of tip rocker and a lot of early taper as well. The tail is flatter and more squared off. And if you think about the metal placement, there's actually more metal back here in the tail of the ski than there is in the forebody of the ski. So really interesting. You know, there's a lot of different concepts on the market right now. I always think the K2 Mindbenders are a really interesting contrast to the M Pros from Dinastar here because it's basically the opposite concept of metal. They're putting more metal in the tip and less in the tail. So just very interesting and it does give them different characteristics. With this M Pro, I've always felt like the versatility comes from the shovel. You can make so many different turn shapes because you can initiate in different ways off that shovel, which is really interesting rather than a ski that initiates in a similar way on every turn, but then you get the versatility or the, the manipulation out of the tail. It's kind of the opposite for the M Pro, which is just fascinating. Um, I do want to look at weight here. There is metal in this ski, obviously. We are 178 in length, but we are only 1,780 grams. So that's really where that hybrid PU core is, is coming into play and, and providing some great benefit. But flex pattern is, is all there. Like this ski is really quite stiff and especially stiff in this tail. It is incredible how strong it is. So it's a really good choice for very technical skiers. If you're comfortable like with your own turn initiation, when you want to make a certain turn, say you want to make a carving turn, you have the technique and the ability to make the ski do that. You also are comfortable and familiar with the idea of kind of unweighting the tail of the ski and getting it to swing around behind you. Because it's stiff and square back there, it's not just gonna wash around. Pretty cool contrast within Dina Star's line, actually, because the M free skis are basically the opposite end of that spectrum. They're gonna wash around behind you super easily, where this ski is going to hold on more, or at least give you like a ton of feedback out of the tail of the ski. So great choice for advanced expert upper level skier like that who likes to have their own kind of manipulation over what they're going to do and somebody that is kind of more of this like technical skier rather than what I would call as more of like a modern free skier where you're making a lot of kind of slashing drifting turns. This M Pro 90 is, is very responsive and, and very technical um, and just super cool. It's like 
it's such an awesome option to have on the market compared to all the other 90 underfoot skis because it really is unique in how it looks, how it skis, and, and what it offers skiers. So that's it. That is the M Pro 90 from Dina Star. Let us know if you have any questions about it, and we will see you out there on the slopes.